What's up, guys? All right. So I was thinking about this um, based on a recent conversation. You know, um, a common problem I see now. All right, so I give videos. We talk about how to taper Suboxone. We talk about how to stop it. Uh, but I also like to give the flip side because not everybody needs to be tapering. Not everybody needs to get off medication assistance right now. I can't make that decision for you. It, it doesn't have to do with a timeline. It has to do with so many circumstances that are going on in your life. And that decision needs to be made by you and your doctor, right? So, um, but that's one reason I do these kind of opposing videos because I like to give you both sides of it. Now, one problem I see is relapse when people that aren't ready to detox, they'll go inpatient, they'll detox off Suboxone because a lot of times they, they feel like, oh, I don't want to be on anything. You know, that's their thing. I want to be completely, you know, uh, clean, no drugs, no no medication, no nothing. Uh, and while that is like this, you know, I can see it as a noble ideal, but um, not everybody needs that, okay? You know, um, I see this also in like some of my patients who struggle with bipolar disorder. Um, oftentimes they like that little bit of manic uh, state that they can find themselves in. It's almost like being high for a week or two and they don't want to take medications uh, to limit that or they don't like the side effects of the medications, etc. So instead of trying to find the right fit, the right dosage that helps to keep them, you know, stable and controlled, they'll just kind of stop their medicines. Uh, and then they tend to, you, you know, their life tends to become unmanageable. It's very similar to addiction. They, they become unmanageable. Um, they have severe problems with their relationships and with their job, etc. cetera. Um, and uh, things fall apart. Then they come to get treatment again, hopefully, or they end up, you know, inside a hospital um, getting treatment. But you can kind of see this this uh, this pattern, right? And it doesn't mean that, that people can't come off of, uh, medication assistance when they're ready uh, but addiction is tricky and so if you're in like the throes of addiction like you're in the in the middle of it or you're just getting started with your recovery you need to be focused on recovery and not so focused on you know when am I gonna taper when am I gonna be done with this or that I mean it's okay to have those things in the back of your mind and have like this long-term goal but your goals have to be flexible and they have to make sense for what's going on in your life today, okay? So if you're on a low dose Suboxone and you're doing great and you're not ready to stop because maybe you're just now getting your life back together, then don't worry about it so much, you know? Focus on the recovery and the, the medicine is not the recovery, all right? The recovery is everything else that's going on, okay? Uh, you know, a lot of like, um, I'm not going to bash this, but like a lot of religious systems in their recovery programs, they are very anti-medication um, assistance. And I think a lot of folks who get started down in these programs, they then start to feel this pressure to get off their medicines. Well, that shouldn't be the reason you're tapering or stopping or whatever, right? Uh, some kind of outside pressure or to try to impress somebody or so that you can comment, oh, I'm not on anything. So you can, you know, feel self-righteous about your recovery. No. That's the wrong way to go about it. And, and uh, whether you relapse or not, I'm not, I don't know, but if you feel like you're doing it just so you can feel better than everybody else, um, you're gonna have other problems, let me tell you, okay? And, and you need to work that out uh, in your own life and in your own heart or whatever. So uh, focus on your recovery and you and your doctor have a plan for how to go about the best system to manage your medications, uh, and whether that's a tapering process, or whether that's a continued maintenance for right now, or whether that's a quick detox, okay? This is gonna be uh, different for everybody, all right? And um, you can't figure that out by watching a video. Um, you can take an inventory of yourself. Uh, you can do that, and you can uh, discuss with you know your therapist and your doctor and all that and y'all come together with a plan a cohesive plan that is best for you all right guys i hope that was helpful uh if you have any questions or comments if you have ideas for other videos let me know
Peace.